So now we are going to discuss about types of finishing process, right? So uh, here the types I have given three uh, methods of classification. So first one is according to the types of machinery or method, we are classifying the finishing into two types. One is chemical finishing, another one is mechanical finishing. <clears throat> so the name itself explains what do you mean by chemical finishing? If the process is carried out using chemicals means that is uh, uh, that finishes are coming under the category of chemical finishes. So mechanical finishings, it refers the machines or physical treatments are required. So because of the machines or physical treatment, if the finishing process carried out means that finishing, uh, finishing processes are coming under the category of mechanical finishing. Okay, let us explain in detail. So chemical finishes are usually applied to fabric by padding followed by curing and drying. So these are also called as wet finishes. So what is the padding, curing, drying? That is, if you are going to apply any chemicals on the surface of the fabric means the chemical liquid is taken in a vessel or a, in a container or the, in a machine, the fabric is immersed on it. So that is known as padding and curing. That is steaming is applied on the that uh, chemically treated fabric. So that time the chemicals are reacted with the fabric and finally drying. So these process padding, curing, drying is a uh, standard process sequence for chemical finishing. Okay, so uh, these are also called as wet finishes. Some of the examples of chemical finishes are flame retardant, soil release finish, what proof finish, freeze resistance and softening. Okay, next we will see the mechanical finishes. So mechanical finishes usually involve specific physical treatment to the fabric surface to cause a change in fabric appearance. So this is also known as dry finishing. So uh, I have already told because of the physical treatment or because of the machines, we are introducing some properties on the fabric means that is known as uh, mechanical finishing. So uh, that means we are not uh, using any uh, wet product or chemicals in this finishing. So this comes under the category of dry finishing. So some of the examples of mechanical finishing, calendaring, raising, sun raising. Here I have list out more uh, mechanical finishes which are uh, applied in the fabric. See, uh, calendaring, compacting, embossing, soothing, raising or napping, wool glazing, shearing, stabilization, decarting, steaming, heat setting, sanitizing or pre-shrinking fully. So these are the major mechanical finishing process or carried out in the fabric based on the requirement. Chemical finishing. So, see what are the chemical finishes are available for the textile material. Elastomeric finishing, freeze resistance, soil release, flame retardant, peach finish, anti-pilling, oil and waterproof, water repellent, absorbent improving finish, anti-static finish, anti-mildew or mold proofing, antibacterial, color fastness improving finish and plasma finding. So, these are the other chemical finishes are used in the textile fabric based on the requirement. According to the quality, so what do you mean by the uh, quality? That is the durability of the finishes, right? So based on that, uh, the finishes are classified into three categories. One is temporary and semi-permanent and third one is permanent. So your finish, so uh, first we will see about the temporary finish. A finish which is not stable and goes off after the first wash is known as temporary finish. And these finishes disappear 
during subsequent washing and usage. So the durability is very less. So these comes in the category of temporary finish. So what are the temporary finishes? Calendaring, embossing, starching and softening. So what do you mean by semi-permanent finish? A finishing on the fabric is said to be semi-permanent finish if it is stable to more than 5 to 10 washes and not after loads. So these are comes under the category of semi-permanent. So examples are screener calendaring and background finishes and permanent finishes. Though the, the name itself, it refers, that is the finishing effect in the fabric does not disappear and remains unaffected through all the conditions of wear and washing treatment. Then the finish, so it is called as a permanent finish. So what are the permanent finishes? Sanitizing, resin finish, waterproof and flame proof. So according to the quality, the finishes uh, are categorized to three types, temporary, semi-permanent and permanent finishes. According to the performance or according to the function, the finishes are categorized into two types. One is aesthetic finishes and another one is functional finishes. So what do you mean by aesthetic finishes? Aesthetic means appearance, right? So aesthetic finishes modify the appearance uh, and or uh, hang or drape of the fabric means. So these are aesthetic finishes. Examples are mercerization, napping and soothing, shearing, softening, stiffening. Functional finishes, it, uh, yeah, these types of finishes improve the performance properties of the fabric like durability, strength, etc. So what are the functional finishes? Antimicrobial or antiseptic crease resistant, durable press, flame resistant, moth proof, shrinkage control, soil release, waterproof or water repellent. So these are the functional finishes. Okay, students, so today uh, we have discussed, so what is finishing? So uh, the finishing definition is given through the various textile with processing sequences, isn't it? Right. And also we have learned about importance of finishing. Okay. And the main point uh, we have, I think you came to know about what are the different types of finishing processes are available for the textile material. So uh, what are the finishing types? Based on method, the chemical and mechanical finishes and based on quality, temporary, semi-permanent and permanent finishes and based on performance, aesthetic and functional finishes. Okay, so we have discussed these details in this class. Next class, we will see the other parts of the first unit. Thank you students.